Welcome back, Boys and Girls Club families. It's your host, Mr. Steve, and I'm so excited you've taken the virtual journey to be with us today. If it's your first time joining, we want to say welcome to the Boys and Girls Club family. Today we are visiting the North Fort Worth branch, so let's go and see what they have planned for us. Hey y'all, it's Coach Isaac, and we have definitely missed you guys around the club. We are truly excited that we get to spend this time with you. Today, it's all about journey and going the distance. Journey simply means to travel or passage from one place to another. Now let's take a journey into the North Fort Worth Boys and Girls Club to see what Coach Jonathan has prepared for us today. What's up y'all, it's Mr. Jonathan. I'm so excited that you're here. The word of the week is journey. I love mountains, so for our energizer, we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers with a little twist. So let's change it up a bit. Get off that bed or couch and let's climb to new heights. For this energizer, you're gonna need a bit of space. With your parents' help and permission, safely create some space on the floor or outside. We're gonna do three different types for 10 seconds. First, knee to chest, then knee to ribs, and finally, feet to hands. These can get challenging, so do the best you can while staying safe. Good work, y'all. Let's go back inside and see what Miss Sage has for us. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Sage, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite Seussism. My favorite Seussism is from I Can Read With My Eyes Shut, and it's about keeping your eyes on the prize. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. What's your favorite Seussism or Dr. Seuss quote? Let's go find out what everyone else's is. Hey, Mr. Steve. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss quote and why? Oh. Mine is, uh, this is no time for play. This was no time for fun. This is no time for games. There is work to be done. And I like that quote because it teaches us to stay focused on the task ahead. Hi, Miss Sunny. Hi. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss quote? Can you tell us why? Yeah. Um, my favorite Dr. Seuss quote is, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can see yourself any direction you choose. You are on your own, and you know what you know, and you're the one who decides where to go. Um, I like that quote because it reminds me that I am in control to make my wildest dreams come true. And with that in mind, we will be creating our soul goals. In this part of our journey, we want to focus on where we want to go. So for this, we have to set our goals and think of people who can help us on our journey. This activity is simple and very fun. All we will need is a shoe paper, your shoe, and your choice of color to find. Let's begin. First, we will trace our shoe on the paper and you can have a family member help you if you wish. Next, we wanna write our goals inside the shoe. Do you have any goals? What are they? Goals are simply things you want to accomplish in the future. So some examples of these can be easy things like counting by fives. Difficult goals can be things like learning a new language that require a little more time. Don't be afraid to ask your friends and family to help you identify your goals. Next, on the outside of the shoe, we're going to write down who can help us accomplish these goals. Once we finish, this is what it should look like. Whoa, don't we have a lot of people who can support us? Finally, we're going to decorate our shoe however we want. Be creative. At the bottom of your paper, you can write down your favorite Dr. Seuss quote. Wasn't this fun? Thanks for writing down your goals with me. Remember, you always have people, including Boys and Girls Club staff, supporting you and your goals. See you next time. Thank you guys for joining us today. We really appreciate you guys being here for our virtual programming. You guys did such an awesome job. We're gonna give you guys a little bit of recognition. This clap is called the firework clap, and it goes like this. You light up the firework, it shoots up, you clap, it explodes, and we give you guys some shine. Ready, set, go. Thank you guys, see you guys later. That's all we have for now. Thanks for hanging out with us. We hope you've enjoyed our daily videos. As we look to new opportunities and changes in the future, we wish you the best. Hope to see you again on our journey. Or come see us during our drive through meal pickup line, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Good luck and keep on keeping up.